And uh, we've been updating you on the story of building collapse at Argyle High School in Denton County. And uh, it was a building under construction, not occupied by students. Right. want to make that very clear, students or faculty. Uh, there are reports of several injuries. Yeah, this building was under construction. They're doing basically major renovations. They have this whole indoor practice facility uh, that they're building, the high school sports program, really trying to... Uh, get this done by next school year and uh, we a viewer sent in this picture first of all it looks like the crane had, crane had kind of turned over right and uh, we had a Fox 4 photographer Paul Beam who was there as well early this morning Sewell's on the scene and and, and and when you're there at the scene he said that you can see multiple there's a lot of law enforcement there right now a lot of police a lot of fire there let's um, check in with Sewell yeah, guys, we just got to the scene just a little while ago. Yeah, this is right next to the student parking lot here. And there are a number of law enforcement agencies on the scene. I've seen DPS out here, Argyle Police, Argyle Fire Department, uh, and they've got paramedics here on the scene. Uh, this particular building, uh, it, it, like you said, it was under construction. I mean, these are heavy duty beams, those large beams that you, that you see there. Uh, and again, we just got here to the scene just a little while ago. So in terms of the injuries, uh, we don't know the extent and how many or you know how critical uh, these folks were but at the time uh, it appears that perhaps it was the employees or workers uh, you know construction crews there uh, working on this when this all happened and it's a little windy out here uh, it, you know was that a contributing factor I don't know obviously that is something that officials are going to be looking into so right now we're trying to gather more information in terms of what exactly happened but it does not appear as if uh, any students were involved and or injured again this is happening uh, just outside of the parking lot and that area is cordoned off. This is a, a construction zone so yeah, you don't find a lot of students able to get on there or have access to that particular uh, area. So that is the, the very latest uh, from out here in Argyle. As soon as we get information we'll pass it along to you. So well, thanks. You can see there the, uh, the the big steel beams that we were talking about and this, this structure had about eight or ten of those huge steel beams and then they would put course put the roof on top of that and put up the sides around it right. but uh, it looks like several of those uh, steel beams have collapsed almost like a domino effect onto each other yeah and this was this building was supposed to be used for practice like to keep kids out of the heat or out of the wind out of the the cold in the winter as well so they could practice inside uh, athletics as well as the band too and it was expected to be complete in August um, you know, for the next school year. Right, there's the uh, artist sketch of what it, what it would have looked like. And again, that series of beams, and then they put the uh, facade on the outside, put the roof over the top, and you got yourself a building. But um, mm -hmm. appears that several of those beams just kind of collapsed onto one another. So, we'll keep you posted. No word yet on injuries, but again, students not in right. that building. Yes, let's turn to Evan now with a check of the